In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. See our Lord on the cross, how he suffers. His blood drips, his mouth dried, his head pierced by thorns, his skin torn apart, his hands and feet pierced by nails, and his breathing labored. Today is the most solemn day for Christians because Jesus, who is God in the flesh, is put to death. Who would have thought that God would become man and die a shameful death? Reflect on this reality. God made man knowing that one day man would kill him. What shall we say to you, dear Lord? Your own creation, which you so loved, has turned its back on you. This is a tragic reality for which we are all responsible. Yet, this is how you express your love, as the Apostle says, God demonstrates his own love toward us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. The cross can be summarized in one word, love. It is incredible to think just how much God loves us. After the cross, there is nothing more God can do to show us his love because greater love has no one than this than to lay down one's life for his friends. Instead of describing the cross further, we should look at it in silence as the Father did when Jesus cried out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? The Father kept silent because Jesus is the Word of God and it is his time to shine. As Saint Ignatius of Antioch says, There is one God who revealed himself through Jesus Christ his Son, who is his Word which proceeded from silence. In other words, the Word of God is born on the cross in the silence of the Father. The birth of Jesus is his death, just as death is birth for all who die in Christ. As Saint Ignatius writes on his way to martyrdom, the pains of birth are upon me, do not prevent me from living. Rather than saying more on Good Friday, let us look at the cross and take it all in, because it speaks volumes.